The starting point was several different research projects in different areas, but the first one that arrived to uh, obtain important results was what we have defined as the complexation of starch. So the, the possibility to use starch as a regular plastics. From this uh, first uh, application, new products were, uh, were generated and uh, uh, together with these new products also a new approach to chemistry and to the use of renewable raw materials yeah. and to the exploitation of biodegradability was developed. These uh, products are part of the raw materials that can be transformed in order to obtain uh, Mother B, Mother B that is bioplastics made using starch complexation technology. So it's a way to combine starch with uh, some specific materials to obtain uh, biodegradable. Uh, so, so the inputs are entirely natural from bio-based inputs and yeah. the output is entirely biodegradable. This is a, a completely biodegradable material that can be transformed in several different products and these objects are, uh, can be used for, uh, for different uh, applications and then can be disposed uh, in an industrial composting plant. These are often the products that we dispose of very quickly exactly. uh, in our throwaway society. And not only will they degrade, but you're saying the plastic bag will degrade as well. Exactly. So it is a, a perfect support to divert organic waste from landfill and from incineration. Now this is interesting because this looks to me like diapers or uh, disposable nappies. And these are biodegradable also? Yes, this is uh, a, a back sheet. Uh, the, the back sheet is made by, by one of our Mother B grades, and the back sheet is a, a biodegradable. So how long would it take to get from that to this to that? It depends from the, the, from the different objects, but the time can vary be, between a few weeks and a couple of months. So 30 days, 60 days? 30 days, 60 quite days. Quick. Yes, quite quick. Quite yes. quick, yeah. So the, the, raw, the different raw materials are mixed and dosed and uh, here the reaction, the transformation happens and this is the, the finished product. It looks like spaghetti when it yes. comes through here. Yes, we are in Italy. So right. like spaghetti. Okay, so it comes through as uh, plastic, bioplastic spaghetti yes. and then it ends up down there. And then uh, the product is cut down in small pieces yes. and the granules are, uh, are prepared. Yes. Okay, and those granules are what then goes to your client? These granules go, uh, go to, our, uh, to our customers uh, to, uh, to be transformed furtherly in different uh, items. Film, sheet or injection molded items. looking at the process of producing bioplastics and uh, those uh, converting into compostable plastics, one of which is the Lavazza coffee capsule. Yeah. And that comes to you at the end of its life. And what do you do with it? Yeah, we reuse the coffee waste, the new uh, capsule, and we use for making very good mushrooms. Now we were told that the plastic biodegrades yes. and through a composting process is once again good for the soil and yeah. have you tested what the quality of that compost is? Yeah, we have tested that uh, the um, uh, vegetables grow much more with this kind of soil than the normal soil. It, it grows 30% more means we have 30% more of zucchini, 30% of salad. So just putting the coffee waste in the soil. So you have to try it. It's yep. amazing. And this is a relatively new idea of upcycling. Can yeah. you explain what you mean by that? We take the, the waste of uh, uh, production of food, means the, the coffee ground, and we use to produce uh, food again. We used to produce mushrooms, very good mushrooms. So the coffee is going back to the soil to produce new, uh, new food after producing food. So you're so actually creating value from what would have previously just been waste 
gone to landfill yeah. and possibly created a problem in the environment. You've yeah. now created new value. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a very good example.